That's what I'm trying to find out. What are you, what are you asking? Oh, I just wanted to ask you, why, um, why do you think that uh, the White House exerted executive privilege today with uh, the Attorney General? Well, I am. Um, first of all, the executive privilege is part of the executive. I think the White House has the authority to assert executive privilege when they believe that a member of their cabinet has been forthright, thorough, uh, and committed to telling the truth. Uh, the executive privilege uh, is based upon, I think, uh, long weeks of the uh, general, general holder, conveying to the committee uh, that uh, documents that could not be presented uh, were uh, documents that were in the middle of an investigation in a criminal proceeding. In this nation, we respect due process. Uh, at the same time, we respect the authority of Congress. Uh, the executive privilege, I believe, uh, might have been uh, utilized, one, to protect both the integrity of the process necessary to uh, find and convict those responsible, and at the same time, find a balance of the responsibility of the United States Congress. However, to be utilized in a just and fair way. Sure. I think many of us, not the White House, raised the question of whether or not this process has been fair. Didn't, didn't uh, Attorney General Holder tell you all, though, that the, uh, he didn't discuss this with the White House? Uh, I have no uh, information. I'm not on the committee, and I don't have any information on that. But if he, if, if he didn't speak with the White House, then how does executive privilege get invoked? Uh, I'm sorry, if he didn't speak with the White House, how does the White House invoke executive again, privilege? that's the end of my statement. Okay, thank you, ma'am.